I had to drop this shit from 4K to HD because I was looking like a fucking mess out here. But, um, speaking of looking like a fucking mess, this video is inspired by PTS fucking D, bro. Um, Fireball, I, I think, should be banned f everywhere, uh, especially for motherfuckers with sensitive stomachs, such as your boy. Um, as the backdrop, so... Me and my dog, we um we go to the bar last last Saturday. Um just you know, another Saturday night. Um I guess I had to give a kind of like a context here. What happens to start the day off, you know, a little bit of pre gaming. I get maybe Michelob do about seventy percent of that joint. You know, I'm not a big drinker, I'm about a buck thirty, you know, I don't, I don't put too much down. Um and a couple of shots of Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey. Very pungent shit that I, I probably should do a separate video explaining how fucking terrible that shit is for you, but that's not the uh, the, stick to the main character of this story. Uh, by the way, I'm at a fucking CVS right now recording this video because the PTSD hit me when I was thinking about, well, we'll get to that part of the story. Anyway, so that's, that's kind of the pregame. A little bit of water, maybe a bottle or so, um, and then we just keep it moving. So go to the food spot and um, got no food. Um, we ordered, uh, I believe he got another Michelob. I got a Corona, just kind of my go-to. Like, you know, I'm out somewhere just getting a Corona. Um, I need to switch that up. I need to look at my entire alcohol diet when I'm going out and then kind of figure out what the fuck is killing me. Um, we didn't get the food ever because this fucking bulbous wench that was our bartender, this fucking... This bitch is built like the motherfucking end of times. Just a giant ass motherfucking bunch of... Here, here's the thought. If you have enough stomach... And I, I don't say bitch in like the, the negative sense. I'd say bitch in like the... It's just a general word. Um, it's a descriptor, so to speak. An adjective. Um, if you have enough stomach to wear... You get uh, a crop top, high waisted uh, leggings combination, and your stomach secretes out of the gap between the crop top, which you shouldn't be wearing. Uh, you, you can wear. I'm, I'm not against people wearing whatever the fuck they want to wear, but like, just be realistic here. Um, and it, it's like it's like if you pop open the biscuits. I believe I don't remember the brand. It starts with a P. But if you crack open those sealed biscuits and then you start seeing like the little biscuit dough leak out if your stomach does that shit something went fucking wrong so we pay for the wings which we never got we were there for like an hour and the spot was starting to like get popping or so we thought um so we leave that you know just basically eat there's only one bartender so literally the only means of getting the wings was that woman that did not come back around after an hour and a half. Literally just, we never saw her again after an hour and a half. So, kind of, you, you eat that shit. Um, I paid 15 on cover just to get into that restaurant. A lot of terrible fucking decisions went on in that night. The next one was the spot we went to. Horrible goddamn place. A, a boring place. Maybe it's just an off night. But it's like a Tony Snell stat line off night. I'm talking zeros across the board nothing of value um the only two women that we even bothered talking to had the x's on on their ship and if you know what an x on the hand means uh i'm 25 we're going to 25 i'm about to be 25 um i can't get an s on my hand let's just say that my dog can get s on his hand and the only two women worth the piss at that place had an s on their hands so let's just say that shit so off oh, rip we ran a game, um, but it, it, it was like, it's like, it's like you had last call, but instead it's like 10 p.m. at night. So, you know, that's the, that's the situation you want to be in. So we get, I think I got a, a Jack and Coke or a rum and Coke uh, with Bacardi in there. And at this point, I would say like, 
I was definitely feeling some shit. Like, you, you know, like, when you're feeling it, but you're not, like... For me, like, it's like I'm feeling it and, like, my stomach is just cooked. Like, there's no, like, fucked up. I was feeling it by this point. But then my dog gets fireball shots. I'm like, oh, my God. And this is, like... I think like, if you have, if you equate it, like, to sports, like, just imagine you're going against Patrick Mahomes in a fucking Super Bowl with the tie game, and they got the last possession. That's, like, more or less, like, what it feels like for me to see Fireball. So, I'm trying to see if this fucking bitch can park by me without fucking off a car. Um, so, at this point, I, I think it's cheating. If you, like, try to go into a parking spot that, like, has both uh, a space in the front and back and like you try to like back into the space like that's cheating like you gotta like just back into it without parking in the front right I don't know I'm just fucking rambling I might still be on that fireball anyway I look at that fireball shot in the same way like fucking Mr. Kraft looks at motherfuckers uh, potentially taking money from him I'm like in bated breath like ready to fucking just vomit at the concept of that shit but my dog passes me the shot, and I I, did, I couldn't turn him down on the, the fire pole. I should have established the conditions of the situation ahead of time, but that's on me. Uh, you know, I, I I didn't say no to the fire pole. I took the shot, and we leave to go to another spot. By this point, like, I'm like, like, body is not acting the way I want to. I like, fucked up. Like, like, yo, I if you hit a fire pole, you should have to walk to the next spot. Just understand, like, God be with you. We going back to go go. We basically like to kind of understand and understand the situation. Uh, the city I'm in, the, the two spots are like fucking, like twenty minutes, thirty minutes, forty minutes walking distance. Like a look at a good ass minute. Uh, a fucking trail of tears for me in that situation. So we go back to his crib, which is nearby, and then get an Uber. Nigga, I sit down outside his crib. I'm telling him, like, bro, you don't want me inside of that place. So I'm, the Uber took maybe, like, five minutes to get there. I'm throwing shit up at that point, bro. Like, I'm telling you, like, my body feels like a fucking reverberation at that point, bro. The fireball is, like, instantaneous fucking torture, dude. It's not I got to take a shit. It's not I got to throw up. It's like everything is one bodily function of expelling fucking cancer out of my body. Somehow, some fucking way, this dude, his name was, I think, Ernest, I believe. We get an Ernest Uber. I didn't vomit on all of that nigga's career, uh, car. We get to where the fuck we was going to. I don't even remember. My eyes were closed. I was, like, focusing on fucking, like, like Mary. Mary had a little lamb by this point. Like, I wasn't, it wasn't, like, music in my ears. It was, like, childhood, wondrous nature that I needed to keep myself together. Bro, the guy... Drops us off, maybe like I, no, no, no bullshit. Like maybe like a hundred feet away from the place. It took everything for me to get to the place to get them niggas cover. Which I don't know. Again, I don't know why I gave them niggas cover because I, I was, I was fucking, and it, you know, I should have been on IR by that point. I gave them niggas cover. I got in. I told bro, I'm going to the bathroom. I sat on that toilet, and I, I sat on a bar toilet. Like I mean, I wiped, I wiped the wiped it down. I was at least I had something left in me, some kind of sense of consciousness. I wiped the fucking toilet seat down. I saw the fucking toilet, bro. I didn't move from that shit for like fifteen minutes. I told my dog, like, bro, I don't know what you want me to do. Like, you got the you got a one man this, so he didn't he didn't want to one man it. So long story short, I tried to get back on the floor. I tried to push through it again. I got a water, nigga. My whole body was like human torch flame on type shit, bro. I was more flamed on than fucking Diddy and uh. Meat meals, you know, that's how that's how on fire I was. Um, I'm like, bro, I we can't, I can't do it. I don't know how, I don't know what we got to do. I'm going back to that bathroom, son. I I just vomited everywhere in the fucking bathroom. Like, I, I got to the toilet, I didn't close the stall, I guess it just came out everywhere. So, I was like, yo, long story short, we didn't get another drink that night. Um, I didn't get, I don't, I can't do fireball anymore, bro. That's not the first time that shit's happened, by the way. There's a story that's more embarrassing than that that I could tell that would definitely make a nigga say, okay, maybe you shouldn't have fireball, but I'm not, I'm just going to save it. Because this is the most recent one that just happened a week ago, but that, that story is like, you could probably think of me as a bitch myself, uh, if I'd tell that one, but this is basically, 
um, a public campaign against motherfuckers from drinking Fireball. I want Fireball gone from everywhere. I don't want to see Fireball ever fucking again in the 48 continental United States, in Hawaii, in Alaska, in Guam, in Puerto Rico, in Cuba. I don't want to see that shit underneath fucking EDP's titties. And, you know, no offense to EDP, but, like, I don't want to see Fireball ever again. In my, dude, my stomach is fucking doing the mariachi thinking about Fireball, nigga. That shit is fucking a war crime.